thing is not working. Okay, here we go. If we got to pull something up, we'll pull something up, but it's not working. Huh? So on three, we're going to look to, to this camera. One. All right, welcome back to uh, Jordan Matthew. Hey, you guys. How's your, how's your day going? Jordan, man, my days are going pretty good. How'd you like a glass of this uh, Cristobal wine? Oh, yeah. I definitely would. Yeah, me too. And where can we find this fine wine? We can't find that wine. No? No. It's irreplaceable? Um, it was during the, the coronavirus. I bought a wine kit for my parents, and they've been making their own wine. Shout out to Scott and Mom. Love you guys. Yeah, no doubt. And I love the wine. So Cristobal. Uh, Emily made the label. It's pretty nice stuff. Yeah, it really is. I think it's a black cherry. I mean, it was the first shot, but knowing Scott, he's got that notepad and pen, and he dialed in. Yeah. yeah. So what? take me through the process of, like, what you buy in the wine kit. Is it, like, the fermented fruits, or, or what did you get when you, you're bang for your buck there? I think it was Ohio Brewing Company. It's like a brewing company on Amazon, and I just bought a kit. And then – I gave the box to them. Oh, okay. So I really didn't know what I was getting. And then I bought the the uh, Ohio Brewing, um, their black cherry kit. And how many bottles of wine did that yield? I'm curious. I think it came out to like, it was like a five gallon thing and just learning mistakes. I know our first uh, five gallon uh, glass water jug cracked. Oh, so no. we lost a little bit. Yeah, I think we got uh, 36 bottles. Dang, that's good though. So what else is up, man? Long time to see. Mm, yeah. Uh, ended up closing on my house. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I know that was big. Yeah, really. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah. So it was a good day. I mean, uh, magic store starting to pick up. Um, I did a lot of like emails and, and, um, and computer work today. That's tough for me is to sit down and lock the time down to actually send emails. I was telling, I think you about it yesterday when I was just like, man, I think I need to designate like one hour of my day to be responsive to people because if it's not oriented in what I'm doing or a task at hand right then and there, I'm kind of tend to put it on the back burner and I apologize to everyone about that. But really, Matt, Matt is very sorry. No, I just know it's, it's something that needs to happen. It's more of a routine and a schedule. Well, I mean, I have to I have to pump myself up for it because I get so much spam nowadays. Like, I have to like get focused. I'm ready to go. Yeah. It, it used to be like I'll check and get one, for one email. You don't have your spam email. You just send all that to him, like a, a Yahoo account that you don't ever use. No, but it's I do. but it still gets to, to the way where you get like 50, 50, whether it's receipts or whatever, but you get like fifty emails a day. Yeah. And I used to be like, oh, we got a new email. Now it's like, I think I check it like. 9 30 1 and 5 mine come to my phone huh so i said mine come to my phone well i know but i don't but i'll have mine my notifications turned off yeah i can't do that not in insurance oh i know but that i have to uh it's been a good system for me like i'll have all my notifications turned off yeah text too i did that with one of my group chats and then i forgot about it and then i'm like man my god my friends don't like me no more i'm not getting any group chats you know how it is if you're in a group chat and then all of a sudden it turns off that you can typically assume that you've been removed from the group chat and they started a new one without you, right? Or is that just me being paranoid thinking that? But anyway, I had it on um, moon mode, which is like do not disturb. And whenever I undid it, I just I all start fluttering in. I had like 100 missed messages from them for about a week and a half. Um, I mean, like... Uh, ends up being pretty comical, though, whenever you miss a few... I guess days on a group chat, and then you get to go back and read everything. It's almost like binge watching a Netflix series instead of one episode at a time. Yeah, I'm in a I'm in a couple group chats, but I keep it to a minimum. I try. It's uh, it's impossible. I get a new one every week. But a new one every week. I seem like it. Yeah, maybe not that. Really? Much, like we're talking like 30, five, ten people. At least How got many people? Thirty on them on on here right now. No, there's one going off right now as we speak. I mean, no, I mean, like, I think maybe three or four. I All could right. be lying, maybe seven or eight. So I had um, Rotary today, and, you know, I'm the president of the Rotary Club now. You told me that. So 
Uh, I had a, a little speaker mishap. You know, uh, typically we assign a speaker chair for a month, and this in this particular month, um, Lori Bickle was our guest speaker. That's uh, Blake Duran's mom. I think you know Blake. Um, so anyway, uh, her she brought her guest or speaker to come in, and then I, I asked another guy by the name of Paul Mallory. He used to work for the Sun Herald to be the guest speaker for the month of September, and I guess Paul heard August as well. So I had two guest speakers today or already had to kind of break it even and give him 50 for 50 of, to, of the time but uh Lori's Lori's guest speaker was Chief Miller the Biloxi police chief so he comes in and the first thing he wants to talk about is the cameras in the article that we went over the other day whenever I was telling you about it I'm linking their cameras up so he actually gave me a piece of paper that we can like sign your camera up I should have brought it in here so we can review it but I thought it was pretty funny and ironic that we were just talking about that and now, do they get access to the inside and outside? No, he said only outside. He said he's not curious or he doesn't care about people walking around in their house or anything like that. But um, he said today that it's not unlimited access. It is you're on a, I guess, list. And if the crime is reported in that area, then they come to you and they request the information. It's not like they have direct link to it. But, you know, that's just the, that's just the local police department. I feel like the FBI can already tap in and all that stuff. So. Um, not that Biloxi, Mississippi's got anything crazy like that going on, but I mean, I can see it like helping with uh, a lot of robberies. Yeah, yeah. In I certain guess areas, fortunate for that. Yeah, I know. Every now and again, you got some neighborhoods that will get hit and the cars will get taken. But at the end of the day, man, I got my place lit up, got some cameras on it, but I'm not getting access to them. I don't think. If you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. That's right. I mean, that's why they want you to sign up. They're not forcing you to do it. Got the uh, Neptune Golf Tournament this weekend. It's going to be a good time. How many teams play? I think we've got over 60 teams. We've got a morning flight and an afternoon flight. God, I wish I knew how to play golf. I was about to ask if we ever played golf. I mean, I think I did one. I mean, I did when I was a kid. I mean, I wasn't really that good. Uh, I'm not good anymore. But, I mean, I've also been pl- went out and, you know, drove the golf cart, drinking with friends. That's the best part. About and I've played, like, some of my friends. And I'm not going to name names. I'm not naming names. Okay. But uh, I think if I – You should name names. No, I think if I get a, a, a set of golf clubs, I don't think I would be too far catching up to them, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you Because I watch a lot. I mean, athletic, too, and you're like, ah. Uh. So um, I always say I don't keep score when I play golf. I play for frowny faces and smiley faces. And did I have fun that whole – if I did, then that's a smiley face. If I didn't have fun, though. Yeah, but you're playing in a, a tournament. How's that work? You just hand smiley faces to people? <laughs> yeah. Really? I never win, you know, of course. It's uh, it's more of a – I think last year I was barefoot and shirtless by, like, hole six. Um, so it's one of those golf tournaments. You know, I might, it should be a good time. I might get a set of golf clubs and be on your team one day. Yeah, you should. But, like I said, I've been a few, few times I've been, and it's one of the sports where you just kind of – you got to dive into it. Well, if you're looking for some fun, Saturday, 8 a.m. Oh, I used to do it. That's what Dad used to do. Me and my brother used to go out in uh, Dogwood. Yeah. And we go to the drive. 19th hole used to be right there in Ocean Springs. We'd go to Dogwood. Uh, my Uncle Tommy Soche, mm-hmm. he used to run the place. So I used to, after school, I used to go there and, and drive the ball. That's all we would do. But on the weekends, we'd go to Dogwood and, you know, ride with my dad. Of course, I got to play a little bit. I mean, I wasn't bad with my irons. Yeah, that's me. I can hit my irons better than anything. I can, I, if I hit a driver, I'm going to hook, hook somebody next to me. I hit a crow one time, and I've never had so I hit a birdie, technically. Um, I was golfing with Mike, and I coming up on hole, I think it was two on Sunkiss. And I'm riding, I had a great drive, and I'm probably maybe a – less than 100 yards out for uh, for getting on the green on my second shot. And I hit it, and this bird's just, like, perched up in a tree. It's a big crow, and he's like, wah, wah, wah. You hit, it, you hit a crow. The ball smashes this thing, and it fl- comes fluttering out of the sky. Did you try to do CPR? No, it was pretty much game over. Uh, the ball was probably moving 100 miles, over 100 miles an hour. Well, bad about it, but, like, what are the chances? You remember uh, Randy Johnson when we were kids, when he was pitching and the bird kind of – We're talking about the guy with the original mullet? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it was original, but – It was there. It was that era, for when sure. When you think baseball back then and – But do you remember when he hit the bird? Yeah. And how ironic that must have been 
I've seen that not the, too long the ago. Chances, yeah, you know, some it's always getting played over and over and over again. I think. Okay, what are the, some of the things you remember from baseball as a kid? I didn't watch a lot of baseball, but I remember certain things. I remember Nolan Ryan putting the guy in the head, Bob. I watched that today. Did you? Mm-hmm. Okay. When he well, what else have you just recently seen? Okay, Ken Griffey Jr. swing. Y'all just got to remember that. I, I think for me, it was I didn't get it. Me and you both were in the baseball thing when uh, Sammy Sosa, Mark, Mark McGuire, McGuire yeah, were they, doing the home run. They saved baseball. We had a baseball, fantasy baseball league. I played it one year. It's way too much in depth. I've never played it again. But the name of the league was Steroids Saved Baseball. Yeah, I, and I just I just go to like when you did uh, baseball, I would just go. Uh, I don't know. I'd stay night at your house, and your mom would bring. I'd, I'd go and sit there and eat sunflower seeds. Yeah, and you'd play baseball. Uh, only baseball games I ever really went to was with uh, Kathy and Robert. We did a lot of uh, Atlanta Braves games. That was fun, huh? I enjoyed it. But I never paid attention to the game itself because no, there's so much stuff to do. because Chipper Jones was playing. There was a lot of stuff. I mean, it's like arcade. You're like, are you going to pass up the arcade? No. Are you going to pass up the arcade? I, I'm not passing up the arcade. Yeah. I do it all. I do both. But, no, typically watching baseball is very boring now uh, unless you're playing in it. I mean, I could probably make it like five innings. Like, I went to some Shuggers games. Uh, I think the last baseball game I went to was in Colorado and watched the Rockies play. But that was still a couple of years ago. And by the fifth inning, I'm looking for the arcade, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's going to get to a point when, and if I ever do get into a sport, well, you know, The Rock bought XFL. I saw that. Wait a minute. He so. just made a post on Instagram where he posted XFL football owner, Dwayne Dwayne Johnson. It said he had partners. I saw that. But um, do you watch Ballers? Have you ever seen Ballers? On- Episode, uh, season one. Okay. So season one's like he's got a pain pills he's addicted to, but he's like trying to finance the NFL players' money. Or professional money as a, as a sports manager. Season two, he gets really addicted. He thinks he loses everything he has that, that he's worked hard for. And then all of a sudden in season three, boom, he ends the Kansas City Chiefs. And you're like, hold the hell up. Like, you were just poor and addicted to pills. Now you're buying the Chiefs and you're signing Patrick Mahomes. But this is all fiction. You know, it's like uh, in the show. It does, it, but it's a lifestyle. It's a, it is a I lifestyle. Mean, it's a real lifestyle. And, and then all of a sudden, you know, that show ended, I think, what, probably five, six months ago. And then boom, he's really buying the football league. I mean, if you're, I mean, he's he's got to he's got to have investment too with uh, Under Armour. You would think. I bet Vince McMahon's probably got a little piece of it because that's who originally started it was. Vince oh McMahon. yeah, and he did it in uh, t- was it 2099? I can't remember. Kind of, he did it and it failed, and then with this coronavirus, it failed. I just remember they had the guys' names. You could pick out whatever name you wanted, and one of the guys was he hate me. That's what he had on his back. Really? Yeah. So I don't know the new rules. I know I tried to watch a couple games of it um, after football season this past year, and it was tough to watch. Some of it was good, but it was almost like watching the Fire Dogs play. Remember the Fire Dogs when we were kids? Yeah, but, I mean. But some of the names that athletes, like, were people that I remember from going to college that were just kind of, like, not on the cusp or that had been in the league for a little bit and they kind of dropped out. But I feel like the Rock's going to bring – a lot of a viewers, lot of viewers, yeah, and a lot more presence to it. You know, especially with all the uh, hoopla you hear about the NFL right now, and then are they going to have games? Are they going to have you know protests? And are the people going to watch it? Is the ratings going to be there? I feel like The Rock has a lot more play uh, with those kind of players, or is a lot more in touch with them than than the people. But he's got a big contract with Under Armour. You know, they're going to be brought in. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, because he's big. I mean, like he's a big part of why Under Armour is where it's at. Really. Well, I mean, yeah, if you look at a lot of, like, all his apparel on, everything's Under Armour. Shoes, Under I didn't Under know how to apparel. Yeah, it, it's a, um, it's a, the horn. Remember the a bull? Yeah, that's the Texas Longhorn. It, look at the Under Armour stuff. That's, it's, and it's pretty big, but he's got, what, I don't know, 50 million to 100 million followers? He's got to have at least $15 million because that's what he paid for this club. Well, he's got a lot more than $15 million. All his blockbuster movies. Yeah, I mean, what was the first movie The Rock was in? I can't say the first movie The Rock was the in. The first one I remember him in, I think it was like Get Shorty or Get Cool or something like that, where he was like the limo driver. For me, my favorite, my first start of the movie was The Rundown. That was a good one. That's when I was like, you know what? That dude's going somewhere. Walking Tall. Walking Tall. Yeah, you can't. That was a that great was when movie. when he busted the dude's tail out with a four by four. Yeah, I remember that. Um, and then they, uh, just they, uh, him and, uh, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. And they like tore apart the guy's truck. And mm-hmm. yeah, I, I enjoy the. A lot of good movies. The Tooth Fairy. Game Plan. Game Plan. Um, and as they go on and on and on, but like, 
I mean, he's got to be a twenty million plus uh, actor. Oh, I'm sure. Um, but he was in Fast and Furious. I don't even think. About I mean, you got to think the movies he's in is like blockbusters. Not only that, he gets paid on social media. He probably gets paid from WWE still because I'm pretty sure he still goes and does some of their oh, yeah. their events. And a lot of those guys are they got mad money. But I, there was talks of him trying to run for president. I remember hearing, but I can't imagine him wanting to do that while he's owning the XFL. I'd say he's the largest uh, celebrity star, action star, most uh, followers. Like, so he played football for the university. I want to say in Miami. Um, yes, if, if I'm not. Mistaken. No, he did. It was. I think it was. Um, and then he went to go play pro ball. I think for the Falcons, and he got hurt. And that's whenever he joined his dad. WWE. His dad was a wrestler. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, but he was a big part when he started doing the. If you smell what the rock's cooking, oh, people's elbow. Yeah, I mean that. Uh, it doesn't matter. But he shot off with movies. Yeah, like his movies were like he's really he's a good actor, but he has like transformed into the way he looks now. He looks like the Rock ate the Rock. No, no, he looks like he looks like. <laughs> The Rock ate Steve Austin. Yeah, and The Rock. I mean, he looks I like saw he, a picture of him back in the day and a picture of him now, and it's, he's like his shoulders are twice as wide, his head's twice as wide. all natural, all natural, every bit of it, all natural. I mean, it's all natural. Yeah, he works out so hard. Yeah, it's but just, he really does. I follow him on Instagram. He's always in there. But him and Kevin Hart, have you ever seen like their little get back and forth? Like they get on oh, with yeah. each other and talk, yeah. you know, talk junk. It's it's always comical, very hilarious. He uh, but. Uh, the if you watch a movie with now I'll say with Kevin Hart the Rock movies I mean they're some of them are kind of the same you'll kind of but they're still good movies there's something to watch yeah it's better than yeah I'd rather stuff. like if Kevin Hart's got a movie even though I've seen the movie similar to what he's doing it's still funny to watch the one where he went back to stay to school or no it was uh him and the Rock. They were buddies in high school, and then The Rock ends up coming back. CIA? Just, yeah, that, yeah, one, yeah, that yeah, was a yeah. funny movie. The Unicorn T-shirt? Yeah. And whenever they got him naked in front of everybody and threw him out there, and The Rock was a big fat guy, and, and then he comes back, and he's all jacked. That was a funny movie. I enjoyed that one. I'm trying to think of uh, other movies that... That The Rock's been in? Baywatch. Yeah, Baywatch is a good one. I enjoyed but it. But Rundown... Yeah, rundown but, was okay. It wasn't the best. I was with. Uh, I know, but he was like a normal sized guy with, ha- with, Stifler, with hair, wasn't it? Yeah, with normal sized guy with hair though, and he was half the size That's and still saying. a good actor. Yeah, he looks like the Rock ate the Rock. He's- yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Or ate some rocks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he does. He's like, I mean, super bald headed now, and just, I mean, he's like what forty five fifty. I don't know how old he is. Let's see him over. The Rock, we need you to come uh, on our podcast and come defend yourself and tell us how. How you got to be? Um, what are you gonna fill up on there? I don't know. What's his real name? It's got to be something. I feel like a Dwayne Johnson. I already knew that. I just can't think of it. Okay. I, let me guess. Let me take a guess at this. All right. All right. Guess right? how tall he is. I'd say he's six three. No, nope. he's six five. Okay. Let me guess his age. Okay. Forty nine. Forty eight. I'm close. All right. Wait. This can't be right. The weight. Yeah. 288. 260. Oh. There's no way. But I mean, I mean, look how big this dude is. <laughs> I mean. Compared to normal people. I think it's a good thing that he's going to say, hey, you know, it, it could be a dream of his because he's a, he loves wrestling. He's admitted that wrestling's still a big place in his heart. And he's he probably at one time seen the XFL, and he's like, there's an opportunity to buy it. And... You can either buy a team. No, you you can either buy a league or a team, and then you're really being like your show ballers. All right, who would win in an arm wrestling competition? Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Harold Sampson? Harold Sampson. <laughs> Harold would win in a heartbeat. I think you're have, right. Have you seen them guns? Yeah, I've seen them. So I'm saying Harold. Next question. All right. <laughs> All right. Who do you think would be the better anesthesiologist, The Rock or Harold? I say The Rock. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Harold. Man. But I don't think The Rock's going to go to work for any kind of hospital anytime soon. Oh, he's got a full-time job now. I know Harold's going to come visit us soon. He did talk about that. He's like, get ready. I'm coming back. He was down here. Not here, here. But he probably did come here. They went and did like a golf weekend. 
I think over in Dustin a week, like two weeks ago, and I saw that he was there. So I know his mom's down here, so he normally comes and says hey with her for a little bit. But um, Texas life, though, he already talked. Texas life. His yeah. house is like five thousand square feet. He sends me snaps all the time. It's huge. Yeah. Him and his little dog just hanging out. A little Frenchy. Yeah. But his house is. I mean, he's got like he's got sh- he's got stuff or shit. Like say shit. Okay. Like. Very nice, like artwork and stuff, and it's probably twenty five foot ceilings, twenty foot ceiling. I mean, it's big. Yeah, it's like I look up and I'm like, what? And that's not even a big house over there, you know. Some of the houses. And that's what he said. He said, but I mean, he works hard. He bought. He worked hard for that house. He's proud of it. Maybe we can get him to to get us some tickets to an XFL game, and then we can go sell this Brock Harold. I I thought about when I go buy the like a drift car. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should go buy buy a car over there. And then just go see him and stay there and drive it back. Yep. Would we drift the whole way back on a down I 10? I mean, we should. <laughs> Probably have to buy some new tires. I mean, I'm getting a drift car and it's got to be street legal. I mean, I would really want, like, I want to be able to pull up, me and you. We'll go to, we'll go to downtown Ocean Springs and smoke just to come. Full cage. <laughs> see, yeah, this doesn't sound exciting to me, but I'd be down to try it out. Well, I mean, a lot of things you do. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a play. Yeah, we I'd be down to try it out. Like I said. I mean, we got to... Um, Until I you see my look, I feel like I would just lose control. Well, something I've always wanted to do. I owned a 240 uh, Zinke like, uh, back in the day, and I've always had a passion for cars. And I, I kind of told myself, like, why not, why not just get me another one? See if I'd like to go bring it to a track. Wasn't it Hulk Hogan's son that was wanting to be a drifter and he, like, accidentally killed somebody or something? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. See, and I think he became a drifter. That's what scares me. But, I mean, I'm not trying to do it on the streets. No. It's just fun to have the car. No, I ain't going to drift on the streets, but it'd be fun to have the car pull up. What if you go to Tokyo? Then you have to. Yeah. Tokyo. Well, I mean, New Orleans has Tokyo New Orleans has uh, Nolo's, uh, Nolo Motor Speedway. They've, I don't know if Joey Spears bought that or not. He did tell me he was looking at that you property. You have to have, like, a circular track to, to drift on? Or? Yeah, they have go-karts track, but they have drift day, and you can just, you, as long as you have a car set up, you just bring it. Drift day, huh? Yeah. Tight. I mean, it's, it really is tight. I mean, is it all the people from like scraping the coast? Huh? Is that the kind of crowd that gets into drifting is scraping the coast crowd? I mean, it's a mix of everybody. It's just never done it. Never really been exposed to it. And, and me either. That's why I'm like, you know, maybe I should try. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you just start your own drift club here. Well, I that yeah, no, be some but that be down to have a that. track and all that stuff. So my boy, Zach rushing, they just opened up a new dirt track. They used to have the dirt track over there off of Minge Avenue. They just opened up a new one. But it's dirt. You don't want to drift in the dirt, do you? Enjoy this, Matt. And, and it's just like you're taking That's a car. a lot of tires they got with Yeah, you, but you're taking a car, no AC. Do you know how to drive a standard? You did because your green truck was standard. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so you know how to drive a standard, and you just. Pop the clutch the whole time. Yeah. See, I feel like the, I would be hitting somebody. Huh? I feel like I would be running into one of those other cars. But, I mean, I'm more of a destruction derby kind of guy. Twisted metal. I thought this thing was blues too thin, but it's not. It's not at all, is it? No. But that's all they do. Is there a rule on how close you want to get to the other cars? Or Yeah, the, I think I don't know how the exact things, but it definitely it's like more of an art form. Yeah, it definitely is. But all you do is slide, and you it's controlled drift. It'd be really cool if you had, like, you know, three balloons over your car. And the other cars had to try to pop the balloons. But what if you can master that? Like, what if you can pull this off and you practice to get good at it? I mean, there's really, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. You get in a car and you, I drive a Ford Lightning. It's a a SVT Ford Lightning. It's a pickup truck supercharged. There's nothing better than hitting the throttle on here in the supercharger. And the the ass end comes. (sighs) I mean, yeah. Okay. You're any car, minivan. Hitting, hitting the gas. Yeah. Doing a little smoke. You smell a little rubber? Yeah. It's America. You got a little gut drop where you're, you get the meat, that little suction in your belly feeling. So you're say, no matter what, you want to punch it a little bit. Yeah, but that's not punch. That's not. That's punching it and drifting out of control, kind of. Like when you got to turn the wheel the opposite way to stop you from going the other way, that's where the art form comes If in. I don't like it, I will sell it and move on to something else. But yeah. I'm going to find Is a it hobby. dangerous? Well, no, you have to. Have, well, I got helmets and everything. Okay, it's gonna be a full cage helmets ge- gear. Just gonna be taking turns with it. Mm. Ryan Bowden's doing it. Well, he says he's gonna do it. Let's see where that goes, Ryan. 
Yeah. Uh, well, See? Yeah, you could tell me that Ryan Bowden's jumping off the bridge. That doesn't mean I'm going to jump off the bridge, too. You know? Well, no, but it's something we what we were in the car scene together. Remember back in the day he had his little Celica? Oh, yeah. We were in the car scene together, and Kyle Mount's getting involved. Oh, Kyle Mount. He's got his car. Does he? Still got his car. He said, man, I called him and said, I'm going to get me a drifter. He goes, I still got it. I still got the Eclipse. I don't even know where it's at. It's like, a. I mean, Kyle's car is like a, probably a 10, 11 second car. Mm. It's I remember always, they used to have that Impala. It's that not was a like drip. ostrich skin on the inside. Yeah, but it, um, that ain't the same car. No, me, Kyle. I grew up with Kyle and Ryan in the car scene, and Kyle had Eagle Talon and a few other cars, but they're always, I mean, pretty, pretty much 12, 13 second cars. But he's got a, Kyle Mouth, I believe, he's got a all wheel drive 98 Eclipse, maybe somewhere around there. I think it may be a convertible, I'm not sure, but it's all wheel drive. With a 4G63, probably pushing 450 horsepower to the wheels. It's insane. Like, I mean, it's a full turbo car. It's not a drifter, but it's like. Quick. It pulls your neck back. I mean, it's, it, you're running with, you're running with Corvettes. You're running with Ferraris, if not beating them. I think the world's like an all-wheel drive car. I think the Eagle Talon, like the same, same, you know, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Yeah. But like Kyle has like the fully loaded ones. You can get the, you know, the fake sports car style, and then you can do the all up beefy ones. But Kyle Mallet. Has always been in the scene. It was funny to hear he moved down here and he still got a car. Yeah, that is funny. He's like, "Bro, I'm coming. Let's go." Because they can. There's well, a full. If Kyle's c- in. You're in. I'm in. Let's well, there's a full like. circle track, and then there's go kart tracks, and then there's drifting. Where are they? Oh, in New, New Orleans. Orleans yeah. And I think Joey Spears was saying he's gonna uh, was maybe two years ago. I talked to him. He might have. He might own it, or he might have backed out on the deal because he has that fast fast lane, fast track. Where's that? Fast lane, I think. Yeah, where. In Bluxy, the go kart track. Oh, that's him. Shelly Spears. Yeah, I didn't know that's who that was. Um, Shelly Spears, brother, uh, owns uh, Greater Gulf Development. Mm-hmm. He went to St. Martin. Okay. He uh, worked at Circus City with Jude and a few guys that were in the car scene. They were in the car scene. Jude was in the car scene. Jude does like his marketing and everything. Um, but they, uh, with Joey, yeah, Joey's worked at, no, not, that's about Circuit City. Circuit City. With Michael Price. Dang. So Michael Price used to have a, a Honda Prelude supercharged. He was big in the cars. Man. So a lot of these people, I mean, it was, but it's fun to see that, like, let me get, let's give it a shot. If, if, what if we're good at it? What if we are? Well, we're good at everything we do. I know, but like, I kind of want to get behind a car and, 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 and try to drive a, a car fast down a track. I want to see your beard in the wind while you're going real fast, like splitting. Or have you ever rode, I've never drove a car on a track, have you? No. What Sounds you, like we need to do a yeah. film it. And if not, go on. All right, let's get it done. What else? Uh, what, what kind of goals do you have? Nothing. To breed? No, I'm just kidding. I got so many goals, but none of them have included cars and driving. No. Um, matter of fact, I hate driving, and and any time I can not be the driver and be the rider, I always try to to do that. Um, but as far as my goals go, um, producing, writing. Movies, and that's what's happening. How many movies have you written? Um, none, full on. But I've got some scenes and some, you know, jokes that I kind of want to put in place. I think that. Throw me a joke. Uh, no, I'm saving them. Okay, I don't have enough yet to just give them out like that. But scenarios, no, and more of it's based on my life and the experience. You come, you come drifting with me. And we'll do a short film. We do a short films already. Yeah, we, I mean, we need to do we, like <laughs> we're gonna do a short film of us drifting. How's yeah. That? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at today, guys. Yeah, no doubt. Look, it was good checking in with you, JoJo. It was good uh, catching up with everybody else. Uh, we're gonna check out now and uh, go be creative. And we'll see you uh, soon. Yeah. Holla. Later.